Hi everyone, how you all doing? On a Thursday sombre morning. Not a great time now, is it? I want to ask you something. Has World War Three already started? Many people are now saying this. I looked at a couple of postings on Redacted, but I've got my own opinion on it anyway, so I don't really need anybody else's opinion. Um, although it's nice, definitely nice to have different angles from this. Let's look at this in logic terms. Now you look at the past conflicts we've had that turned out to be world wars. Didn't they start with incidental matters, very insignificant matters? Not the fact that one country was invading another, but I'm talking about uh, the Ferdinand issue. Now this is how I perceive this to go into World War Three on a perfectly normal day. Just as the Bible said, we will just go about our normal business, but we will be in the culmination period, I keep calling it the punch out period. Why do I call it the punch out period instead of just saying the last of the last of the last days? Well, because during the punch out period, this is um, an action from the two opposing forces. They're gonna punch each other, aren't they? Or pulverize each other. It starts with pushing, but that won't be enough. Now let's explain it this way. Russia has already maneuvered its warship with nuclear capable missiles within what we would call striking distance of a major superpower. Germany, Poland have agreed to send the available tanks that were much needed. So last week we were talking about America's involvement in a proxy war. A week's gone by, and a week's a heck of a long time in a situation like this, and it's almost now at the point where Russia knows and Russia's allies know that America is at war with them. It's just that the mainstream media haven't said as much because they don't want to scare the world, put everybody into fear and for the stocks to drop because that's likely the first thing that will happen if there was a declaration of war if just say we go home tonight and Russia's minister declares that Russia is now at war with the United States and its allied forces that's Anglo-America NATO but where does the peace and security come in Right, because this is something that is very, very significant. Well, it could be a bogus attempt at trying to fool the world. So they may be in this conflict now, and to all intents and purposes, it does appear as if we and the United States are playing a huge role in fighting Russia. But the peace and security has to come into play at some stage and this is the time where we should have real fear not at the moment because it's still that pushing and shoving um, the sabre rattling of a high intensity nature but the peace and security is quite blunt in the outcome and its message because it says sudden destruction at the moment peace and security is declared by who exactly I strongly believe it's probably the United Nations that will probably get involved but it could be someone else I don't know but say it's the United Nations and they say that they're going to negotiate this Ukraine Russia situation and then they declare that they've brought peace and security to the world that's the time to worry and I will be worried and I would presume that if you're all spiritually minded people you'll also worry as well well interesting times people anyway I better get to work
I'm in Mivan at the moment, I'm just in Liverpool, got a job to do. Uh, Matalan DC in Nosley. See y'all. <laughs>